Good evening fans and welcome to Fuzzy TV, the home of Soccer Fuzz, where I bring you transfer news every day. And so far as I'm seeing you guys are enjoying it and liking it. Hope you guys subscribe more and watch my videos. Well, let's start with the first topic is that Patrice Evra has said that if uh, Bain's going to come over to Manchester United this transfer, Ever got nothing to do there, so Ever's gonna plan on leaving and going back to his former club, Monaco. I think that would be just perfect because Monaco right now is building up to be that number one team to fight for that number one spot and Championship League. They already got Falcao, you know, they're gonna go after many more players, and if they get Ever, Ever only got one more year on a contract with Manchester United, so why not just leave to Monaco and finish your season in France? What do you guys think? Because I, I think that's a pretty good idea and you know Baines is an expensive player that Manchester United don't need but whatever. Moist could do whatever he wants. Let's go to Germany where Schalke's uh, Draxler is playing hard to get. So Real Madrid pitched in a 16 million dollar bid for him and they already offered him a contract and everything. But he said he does not want to go anywhere this season. He wants to stay at Schalke. So he signed a new deal that will keep him at Schalke till 2017. So it will actually make more money for Schalke later on when they sell him. I'm pretty sure they'll sell him later on. But right now they're saying if any team offers a lot more, they're welcome to accept the bid. I don't know why, but <laughs> Draxler should stay in Bundesliga and continue his talent, grow, just get all the experience he can because if he goes to Real Madrid you guys gotta admit it, he's not gonna get that starting spot right right let's go to Italy where Napoli's uh, uh, going after a Brazilian keeper named Rafael he is a really great keeper he's been with his team his whole career now and Benitez is actually coming really close to signing him Rafael already flew down to Napoli to talk contract deal and everything and it looks like it's going to be happening so far the deal is 11 million euros I think it's a pretty good price for a 23 year old keeper since Napoli just lost their former keeper they need a new keeper they need a new man to protect that goal right right let's go to Bundesliga back to Bayern Munich where Ribery has signed an extension for four more years where he says he loves it, that's his home, and he's going to retire there. You know what, Ribery, I love you, man. You're a great player, and Bayern put everything into you. So you put everything to them, right? Let's win the Championship League again a couple more times, right? Right. So stay at Bundesliga till you retire, man, because I love watching you play for Bayern Munich. Especially this jersey this year, I'm going to buy you. I'm going to buy that jersey. What do you guys think? Was that a good choice for Ribéry to sign a contract or he should, he should have went to Real Madrid or uh, Premier League? But I, I didn't think he was going to go anywhere. I'm glad that Pep Guardiola got him settled in and it's worth it. Let's go to Ukraine where Shakhtar has signed a $15 million Brazilian named Fred. He's a 20 year old, under 21. He's a really, really good talent. Shakhtar is going after all these Brazilians and that's just nuts. It's nuts. They're going after everybody. I think Ukraine's turning Brazilian. Hey, cheap market, bringing in all these lower class Brazilians into Ukrainian league. You will rape in Ukrainian league and then you will dominate in the championship league like they did last year, which was a great thing. You know what? Let's go to another transfer that Shakhtar just made. They signed Wellington Nam. For 15 million euros and he's only a 21 year old he's a great midfielder he's an attacking midfielder if you play FIFA 13 I'm pretty sure you know him he's a great midfielder which will pretty much settle in for Fernandinho what do you guys think geez they're just going after everybody I'm loving it because Ukraine the Ukrainian team needs to challenge for that championship league I miss it I miss it Anyways guys, hope you guys enjoy my news. Subscribe. See you later.